Hi guys, hope you're all well. If you're new to Siege Studios, we're a premium miniature painting service with over 30 artists. Here at Siege we offer four painting levels, ranging from our bronze, premium gaming quality, up to our platinum competition standard. For your free quote today, follow the link in the description of this video. Welcome all to this awesome 30k World Eaters showcase and as always we're going to start with the two characters from the force. We have the mighty Angron, Primarch of the World Eaters and we also have Khan the Bloody. This whole force has been completed by James, one of the artists here at Siege, who's had a phenomenal time working on the project. Uh, let's jump in and have a look at these miniatures in all their rampaging glory. Let's start with Khan the Bloody to start off with. Uh, James had a really, really awesome time working on him as you can see he's just dispatching one of his uh, loyalist brothers unfortunately lopping the arm off of this chap um, obviously he's got his plasma pistol there with a really nice orange glow just to complement that blue uh, James has done a lovely lovely amount of detail work on these guys even the little sort of red clan markings just on the helmet there as you can see um, but he's just leaping forward, bounding forward, just uh, lopping, obviously, the arm off of his uh, of his brother there. You can see, obviously, the base uh, is really, really cool with all those skulls and little details and things on it as well in a kind of like a sort of deserty kind of like marshland kind of finish. He's just obviously atop this large rock, as you can see, uh, but just charging forward there. You've got all the little livery of the World Eaters all fully painted, the planet there on the shoulder guard. The coppers are really nice dark tones, which is just really cool. So that's just this awesome Khan the Bloody. Uh, again, a phenomenal, phenomenal. You've got all the transfers and everything all fully added to these guys guys as well uh, just both obviously on the shoulder guard and also on the uh, the other shoulder pauldron as well and then we have the angriest man in the galaxy we have Angron himself uh, just charging forward here and James has done a really nice job on Angron just giving him that very berserk kind of feel with the paint job also uh, as you can see he's just picked out all the details across the miniature uh, just charging forward uh, both with uh, both of his fabled chain axes uh, just uh, leaping forward and obviously dispatching the uh, these marines quite effectively uh, that lovely cloak there with all those details and chains and everything all fully painted uh, just really nice nice scratches and things on all the metal work he's got a really cool awesome baroque set of armor as you'd expect um, but just uh, done to a very very nice finish you've got little sort of uh, lights and power cables and things all on the inside of the hood all painted um, and again just done to a really really awesome awesome finish so that's just this awesome angry angron and he said angry ron then uh, but this awesome angron model um, and and I do I've always love the pose where he's just charging forward. Um, just always, always loved it. He's got more of a squat sort of kind of stance to him as well, which is just cool. But James has done a phenomenal job in picking out all the copper works, all the bronzes and different details across the miniature. Uh, so that's just this awesome Angra model. Uh, do hope that you like these two. Up next, we have a look at all the infantry and other aspects to the force. So they're coming up next. So up next, we've got all of the infantry from this uh, 30k World Eaters force. And it's a nice selection. We've got obviously some Legion Tactical Marines, we've got some Rampagers, and then we also have some Red Butcher Terminators. So a really, really nice selection of infantry. Let's pull forward the awesome Red Butchers to start off with. Um, just a great, great Terminator unit. Uh, very aggressive in close combat. See, James has done a great job of picking out all the little details on their armor, all the chains and all the little bits of uh, Baroque bronze armor all painted. Uh, got a nice sort of subtle spattering of blood on some of the axes and things which is quite cool uh, and obviously they've got the legion heraldry just on the heads as well which is quite nice uh, so that's just this awesome first of the uh, red butcher terminators obviously all these all these are forge world editions um second of the uh, red butchers here another space wolf helmet on the on the base uh, which is really cool so that's just uh, this awesome red butcher terminator again all the little intricacies of the armor the chains and everything all fully painted you've got those legion shoulder pads obviously there as you can see with the uh, sort of uh, world eaters symbols so that's just the second chap uh, pull forward if, like i said i'll pull forward all of them so you can see them in a bit more detail again this guy here just uh, attack someone there and just bring the other axe to bear as you'd expect but again a really really awesome awesome model so that's just him and then uh, and then we're gonna have a look at the uh, legion sort of uh, or the squad leader should i say not legion leader squad leader here he's just about to swipe someone with his chain fists again uh, some space wolf heads just on the bases just uh, i'm assuming our client obviously fights a lot of space wolves uh, so that's just this uh, sort of uh, squad leader here just uh, looking very aggressive with the nails there as you can see just on the side of his head uh, so that's just him then we'll look at the uh, the rampages again really cool models again very aggressive looking with these awesome awesome sort of uh, sort of flail weapons that they've got obviously they've got the nails just on the side of the head there as you can see all the eyes and teeth and everything all painted as well all the little like gems and sort of intricate details all painted on the armor so that's just uh, that's just the first one 
then we'll have a look at this guy wielding this massive axe as you can see here again really really cool attention detail a little bit of blood work just there on the axe as you can see that's a nice shimmer uh, again james has picked out all the little details we've got um obviously the uh, the world eater symbol there just on the knee pad a little bit of blood on there and again the nice nice sort of desaturated kind of color there obviously of the white which is really cool so that's just the uh, this awesome awesome huge axe wielding rampager then we'll have a look at this other one here uh, again wielding the massive axe you can see all the eyes and everything all fully painted on these guys again you've got another space wolf head on the base all the chains and everything all fully painted again all the little areas of detail work all fully done on these guys also so that's just another rampager um pull forward the other guy wielding a huge fly wielding like ball kind of thing which is cool he's obviously got some blood pouring out of his mouth there as you can see the teeth and everything all picked out um just the awesome awesome weapon there as you can see so that's just him and then we've got this what i think is the sort of squad leader from this this squad as well here it's just him obviously charging away there bellowing away with all of his nails and everything all on show but all the chains and everything all fully painted and this awesome 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 sort of pose where he's just bellowing away and then we've got uh, 10 legion tactical marines um Again, with the uh, very iconic sort of uh, Forge World uh, sort of World Eater heads. All the lenses done above the bolters as well, which is really cool. All the shoulder pads with the transfers, all the Legion transfers. And again, you've got obviously the uh, this, the chapter number there just on the side of the, of the shoulder pad as well. So that's just the first guy. Uh, pull forward the sergeant from that squad. He is magnetized, so his uh, lightning claw arm comes off and can be replaced with a chainsword, uh, which we've just got here off camera, if I just grab it. So you just got a magnetized chainsword arm there. Again, with the uh, sergeant denoting... Uh, uh, Emperor, uh, world eaters symbol and he said emperor's children then um and then we've got this uh all these poses just firing away there you can see all the lenses and everything all fully painted on the helmet which is really cool uh so that's just him uh and then again all the tactical marines are very similar so i'll pull forward a scattering of these so you can have a look but again really cleanly executed lovely desaturated white with a white edge highlight which is really nice uh so that's just this awesome awesome uh set of miniatures pull forward a few more so you can see these in all their glory again we've all got those uh, sort of sheath kind of uh, knives as well which is really nice so that's just him and we jump across to the other squad and you can see the consistency of miniature to miniature on all of these also as well again lovely sort of copper work done on these uh, models also so that's just a few more pull forward one more so you can have a look at him but you can see all the details all fully painted on these guys also as well uh, so that's just this awesome awesome model hope you do like them ever so much and uh, up next we're gonna have a look at uh, the rhino and the dreadnoughts that are coming up see you guys shortly So last up, let's have a look at the uh, sort of transport and uh, heavier unit for the force. We've got a Rhino and also a Contemptor Dreadnought to check out. So let's have a look at these two awesome models in more detail. Um, we'll start with the uh, the Contemptor Dreadnought. Obviously, this is the World Eaters one. You've got all the little uh, details. Obviously, the World Eaters symbol there on the set on the chest. You've got Terra written across there. Not that they serve that planet any longer. Uh, you've got the World Eaters uh, symbol there for the Legion just on the shoulder guard. You've got some chain transfers just added to the leg there, and then obviously see lots and lots of little details all painted a little bit of damage and weathering all painted onto the models also which just works extremely well so that's just uh, some extra little details that James has painted on a bit of weathering and chipping and stuff some blood just on those claws there as you'd expect obviously with some world eaters which is really nice and again you can see that lovely free-handed weathering that's just been painted on the miniatures you got a by the looks of it a space wolf head on that base so that must mean that they are fighting some space wolves um, but really really cool uh, contempt of dreadnought to add to the force and then we've got this awesome uh, 30k rhino uh, with all of the uh, sort of legion uh, doors as well. So you've got the big world eater symbol there. Uh, James done a nice amount of sort of weathering and detail, painted on some freehand sort of uh, chips and things. You obviously got some of the other transfers that have been added. You've got the uh, the world eaters transfers just there on the doors. Uh, and again, just really, really nice attention to detail uh, across the model with uh, with all the chipping and stuff that's been done also. But again, just a really clean rhino just to uh, sort of uh, uh, you know approach the enemy and attack the enemy and transport your troops in it as well. Again, you've got all these little lenses and things just done on the capolas. Uh, uh, they're all picked out and painted as well which is really lovely so that's just this uh, awesome rhino and i do hope that you have liked this world eaters force they're off now to absolutely rampage across somebody's gaming table and uh i thank you so much for watching this army video
So thanks for watching the video guys, I hope that you have enjoyed it. While you're here on YouTube, help us out by subscribing to the Siege channel. We upload at least three videos a week, so make sure you hit that bell icon to be notified when a new video is live. To see more, go follow us on our other social media where you can keep up to date with what we get up to and interact with us. If you're looking to learn from us, we offer online tuition on Patreon and physical classes nationally in the UK. Finally, to get your free quote today, click the link in the description of this video. From all the team here at Siege and myself, a massive thank you for watching the video and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.